Hey there boys and girls, like Skillflag here and welcome back to my render settings tutorial. So the program I'm recording with right here is called um, Rulers Action, I will do a review on that as well, but for now let's focus on the render settings. So um, you just go to projects and render as, and what I'm rendering in is a WMV file, 1080p, you can just check my little template right here and CBR right there. And you can just copy all those um, things right here if you want to get the exact same um, quality I have. I've put this to 30 million. It's kind of probably a little bit overkill, but um, YouTube renders down everything no matter how much it has. So if your um, your standard video has the best quality possible, then it will look better on YouTube as well. And that's what I'm uploading in. However, if you're if you have like a, a bad PC or a bad connection or both, um, I can also suggest you some other things because um, rendering in WMV takes quite a while, and the files are also kind of big. They're I think twice as big as um, MP4s, so um, rendering and uploading will take quite some time, especially in 1080p. But before I go over to the MP4 stuff, which um, people with um, like bad internet and bad PCs can use. And we'll just um, hop onto my template right here. It's um, an AVI file. It's what I'm using for montages. Um, I just use my montage clips, put them all together in one video, and it will probably look like. Let me see where do I have it. Um, I think yes, right here. And then it's called montage clips, and it's basically how I get. Um, it's it's uncompressed, so the quality is not affected at all. And if you're making montages, you should definitely use that um, uncompressed 60 FPS AV file and put your montage clips together. So much for that. You can again copy my stuff if you're interested in that. But now, um, if your um, how should I put it? If your PC is really bad and your internet is also kind of crappy, you sh should probably render in MP4 and you should use Sony AVC. So um, the, the advantages of Sony AVC is that you can render with um, CUDA or OpenGL if you have an AMD card. And the thing about that is will it will probably cut your render times in half, depends on your GPU of course. And it, what it actually does, it, um, it's not using only CPU, but it's using the GPU as well, or only GPU, which makes it quite a lot faster. And I think they've um, it's been around for quite some time now. But that's probably how you should go. I, once again, can show you my template so you can see what my settings are right here. And yeah, um, the good thing about MP4s is, um, well, let's start with the worst or the bad things, uh, which would be the quality isn't all that good. Um, MP4 definitely has the worst quality of, of, of all the things I've mentioned, like WMV and AVI. Um, MP4 is not that great, but it's um, also YouTube's preferred format. And it's also what YouTube renders, uh, renders its videos to. And so just to, uh, so you guys know. And yeah, that's um, the, the good thing about it is that the files are really small. And um, like I said, especially if you're using GPU rendering, it's um, super fast. And I think even without, it's just like half the time uh, than rendering in WMV or in a uncompressed AVI file, which I, I think AVIs take also a little longer than WMV. So if you have a crappy PC and internet connection, you should definitely use those bo uh, those two. However, um, if you're having a kind of decent PC, but a crappy internet connection, you should do uh, you should use Ripbot, because um, well, how it works is basically you're um, you're rendering your video in a 60 FPS uncompressed file or 30 FPS uncompressed. And this file will be huge, like 40, 60, maybe 100 gigs. And after that, you will put it into Ripbot. And I can also put a link to something in the description down below. Oh gosh, so much stuff. Yeah, um, Ripbot is a nice little program right here. You can, I will try to put the download link in the description down below. And you can just like um, put your videos in there your uncompressed ones and it'll um, render them in mp4 with a small file size but the quality is almost as good as if you're using WMV which probably gives you the best results on YouTube. I mean you could also upload the AVI file which would probably take take you like two years. But yeah um, this was my little render settings tutorial. I'm rendering in WMV as I've mentioned before and yeah I think it's pretty much all for now so I hope you enjoyed the video and like skill faker out.